Hi, I'm Marius from Emory's Photography. Now in the previous episode we looked at using reflectors outside. You can see a little sample clip in this corner or in that corner. We'll see when I edit this video clip. And you can also have a look at that video to show you how you can use reflectors outside. Now you can also use your reflectors indoors. Now when you don't have a voice activated reflector holder, Okay, that's basically your friend who's holding the reflector for you. If you don't have anyone to hold the reflector, there's a very nice little gadget that you can buy that will help you with this. Now this thing right here, it says here on the sticker right here, reflector and background or yeah, backdrop holder. Now the nice thing about this is that you can attach it, as you can see here, to a normal um, tripod. So if you don't have a special stand, like you can see with this right here, I've got uh, my flash and speed light, everything on a bracket that's holding the softbox. If you don't have a stand like this, you can just use this. Now, a nice thing is when you open this dial right here, you've got an option of a few holes that you can attach this to. So if you've got maybe a thinner pole that you want to attach this to, you just use a smaller hole and you've got options. That you just turn the thing around until you get the thing that fits perfectly. And you just tighten this so it's locked against your tripod. And then this one right here, when you open this up, you're going to see it's going to loosen here. And I can move this bar around and I can lock it in place. And also if this is loose, then I can do this as well. And you're going to see soon why you would want to do this. Now this thing can extend pretty far. So if you've got a very... Um, large reflector I'm going to use a much smaller one you can open this right here and you can extend this as you can see pretty far and this one here also extends so this thing can take a really large reflector and then right here it's got this thing that you press down it's got this little button thing you just hold your fingers like this and you just press it down this is to open up the grip which is going to hold onto the reflector and on this edge right here it's also got the same thing now, what's nice about this system is that this entire thing can turn around. So you can open this um, thing right here and you can turn this pole around. So that's this fitting, which is now like this, on the edge can t turn around. So it's basically going basically to do this. So if I open this one, I can turn this thing around. Now the cool thing about that is that I can also open this one and move this. Now say you are at the location where you don't have a you don't have something to bounce against. You've got your speed light, you want to bounce your speed light. You can have a nice large um, um, light stand. I've got light stands that go like f f further than my ceiling that I can extend. And if you're at a, at a location where there maybe is no ceiling and you've got a corner where you must take pictures, you can actually take your, your stand, extend it, take this um, extension pole and just put it above you put a reflector above you and then you stand like this bouncing your flash against the reflector so you and you just shoot like that very easy so you can use it for that you can use the on your reflector i'm going to see here this is now the smaller 80 centimeter one you can see here on the inside of the five in one reflector you can see this white section so you can have the white one right here and then put the flash on that side and shoot the flash through the um, translucent section right here and you've got softer light. You're going to turn your smaller flash, your small light source into a much larger softer light source by shooting right through this thing. Now what we are going to do today is I want to introduce you to my very adorable little Dachshund and her name is Lumen for luminance. She's the brightness value in my life. Okay, my wife behind the camera is smiling. So I'm going to take a picture of her. Now, I don't have like normally all my background stands, uh, 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 the backdrops and everything. I'm just taking it as is now. And the reason I'm doing that is I've got here one softbox with a speed light behind it. And this is going to be my one, my, my main light, my key light. Now normally you would want to have two light sources. So you've got light coming from this side and that side. So you would normally have two lights at 45 degrees, but now I only have this. Now I do have more flashes, but what happens if you only own one flash? It's a lot more expensive to buy two flashes than just investing in this cheap little reflector. And this thing really, I don't know what, for people outside South Africa, I don't know how much this will be, 
But um, for people inside South Africa, this is about, f I think, 450 Rand for this, um, this arm. And this is about 300 Rand. So you're looking at 800 Rand here. I don't know what the dollar value of it is, but this is really cheap stuff. So what I can do is I can have this flash fire. It's going to light this side of my face, but this side is going to be darker. So if you want a, 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 a portrait shot of someone that's got light from both sides, you can use your reflector and you can reflect the light onto this and this will reflect back onto me again. Now, the nice thing is if you don't have someone to hold it for you, here you've got your reflector on. Now, I'm going to use the golden side. It's going to give a nice golden color. Now to attach it, you're going to see here, I've got this, like I said, I'm going to go to this side, you can see exactly how I attach it. You've got this thing you press down, so I'm going to lock this thing in place. You just press this down and then you put it there into that thing there and it locks it in place. And then I just need to make this one arm a little smaller like say that that's my one dog going crazy if you hear him on the microphone well he's rustig okay so this will now be my full light so in normal studio lighting you will have your key light and your full light so this is my main light source and this will be my second light source so the light that's going to reflect of this will also reflect against this and this will reflect against me again so i can take a nice portrait shot with only one, um, with one, only one flash. I'll be using this to reflect the light. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I first wanna take a shot without this so that you can see exactly the result you're gonna get. So to do that, I'm just gonna pause the video, then I'm gonna unpause and magically the reflector is away. And here is Lumen. Isn't she just so pretty and shy and she's rubbing against my microphone here. So you're gonna hear on the mic. So this is Lumen, okay. Now, for now, we're just going to take a shot without the reflector. Nanette? Okay, my wife's behind the camera. She's going to take a shot for us quickly. Okay, test the flash. Okay, there you go. Just going to hold it like this. Take another one. Another one. Okay. What does it look like? Spot on. Okay, so now you'll notice on the images on the screen that the lighting is obviously now coming from this side because there's nothing reflecting it. So now we're going to pause again. And then we unpause again and magically we've got our reflector back. Okay. So here we go. We're going to take the same shot. And now this time... This light is going to obviously now fall onto me and the rest will reflect here and this will come and fall in this side and it's going to have a nice golden color to it. Do man, rustig. I think the dog wants to go to my wife now and the other one wants to get on my arms. It's not the, the most comfortable pose, eh? <laughs> okay. Does it look good? Okay, now, I think, just to be fair, this one is heavy. I need to introduce you to Uchis. Now, Uchis is Afrikaans for, for, <laughs> almost said, for eyes, I almost said Uchis is Afrikaans for English. Uchis is Afrikaans for, or in English is, is eyes. And doesn't she just have the most beautiful eyes? Okay, Nanette. I just want to get her head closer to me so that everything is nice and focused. She's very nervous. And you'll notice for my background, I didn't, have, I didn't put any background lights or anything on because I want to show you that if you only have one flash, you can still get cool shots. Obviously, it would be better if I now used a gel background light and everything, but this is just keeping it really simple. Just a flash and a reflector. That's all I want to show you. Right, so Nanette, does it look good on there? Okay, cool. She says it's fine. 
So that's that for looking at reflect reflectors. Um, I'm still going to put some stuff on the blog. I'm going to talk a little bit more about shooting um, through this. I think I'm going to. I think we're going to take a few shots now, and I'm going to put that on the blog as well. And then you can see the difference by shooting direct flash, not like this. The flash is going to be um, a little bit more direct, only on one of these. I'm going to put it through this or shine it through this. And I'm going to take a shot, direct flash on, onto me, maybe directly from the camera. And then we're going to look at the direct flash and then diffused flash by shooting it through this, um, the inside, the transparent thing. And then, yeah, that's going to be it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, please, please leave comment down below and also subscribe to the channel because there's obviously going to be a lot more videos like these. And then I will see you in the next one and bye bye.